Hey, I'm Aja A, and welcome to Sunshine Haze. Don't forget to check out all the links that I have listed down in the description box. And if you like the video, please give me a little thumbs up. If you have any questions after the video is over, feel free to drop them down below. I try to respond to everyone. And if you all know people interested in astrology, numerology, tarot, or whatever I'm talking about on this channel, go on and send them this link. And don't forget to hit subscribe. And of course, thanks for tuning in and rocking with me. May this info help y'all live your best lives. Peace. Hey y'all, welcome back to Sunshine Haze Co. I am Aja A. Um, we are having another eclipse. Oh, I said another like that. We're having another eclipse. Um, so this is a new moon video for you this time around. We are having a solar eclipse, new moon, in the sign of the twins, in the sign of Gemini. Um, just to get straight into it, energetically speaking, when we have a new moon, um, we're looking at new beginnings, a little bit of mystery, a little bit of anxiety which is not necessarily always negative a little bit of um you know like ooh, i'm anxious i'm excited um and uh coming into new new spaces and new energies when we're talking about eclipses specifically solar eclipses we're looking at the energy of change and transformation but in regards to what is coming in what is transforming what is what we're about to change and transform into okay so let's get to it um this new moon is on thursday june 10th in the sign of again gemini it's going to be happening at 6 52 in the morning that's eastern uh, eastern standard time for those of y'all that want to know exactly when this is happening um especially because we're having a lunar eclipse i'm sorry a solar eclipse so if you um if you do want to know when this is happening you can uh, do your calculations um the eclipse is not really going to be visible for most of us um it will be visible in i believe some uh, northeastern parts of the United States so some of y'all might be able to see it partially but um, it's not one that we'll really be able to see ourselves but if you want to know what time is happening there you are I'm um, happening in 19 degrees which I will talk about a little bit further on in the video uh okay y'all let's get into it moon is happening in gemini gemini is a sign of the twins what is gemini energy um gemini is a very adaptable energy very inquisitive energy gemini is also a very fun energy it's an air sign okay um if you know any gemini people you know they have a very perceptive energy they they tend to view things from different perspectives all within the same sitting you know what i mean um they're humorous, they're curious, they're also multitaskers. On the shadow side, Gemini can be very indecisive. Um, I have a little Gemini brother and I also have a sister who has a Gemini moon and a Gemini rising. They can be very indecisive. <laughs> um, they can also be detached, impulsive, and a little flip-floppy, unreliable at times. But that's remember, that's when they're working in their shadow energies, okay? When we're working with Gemini on the shadow side. So there are a few points that I want to hit in regards to... The energies that we'll be dealing with this is the new lunar cycle so we're talking about a month long here and while we'll have a full moon during this time we'll still be dealing with this as an underlying energy for the course of a month so going into mid-july until we hit uh, the cancer lunar cycle um i hate allergies y'all uh, a couple points here first one that i have is communication so gemini is an air sign so off bat we're dealing with the energy of communication the energy of talking the energy of all of that um reading writing the sending messages all of that's coming in okay um because we're having a new moon this is bringing in a new energy in regards to communication so over the course of this next month you guys may find yourselves having conversations with people that you don't always talk to you might meet some new people you might find yourself speaking up where you don't necessarily always speak up or weighing in when you don't necessarily typically always give your opinion on certain subjects um also looking at new ways to communicate so on a on a wider level that is not the word I'm looking for it's late y'all when, when it gets late I feel like my brain starts to go but um on a more collective level for instance like say in the workplace what we might be looking at there may be ooh, let's speak this into existence say you work somewhere where they send you hella emails every day say you get like 40 to 50 emails from your employer every day they might speaking this into existence they might decide mm, this is not really an effective way to communicate because we send so many emails people do not even read the emails they're always asking us questions about stuff that we sent them but obviously they're not reading the emails because we send them so many so maybe we'll start sending out like a weekly newsletter with all of the stuff we need you to know and links to all of these things that we need you to know for the week 
coming up with more effective ways to communicate, okay? Um, possibly looking at having conversations that you've maybe had before. Again, remember we are in retrograde season as well and you might find yourself thinking, I've, I've had this conversation before. I have made it very clear what it is that I need, what it is that I want, what I'm trying to get across. But for some reason, it's not, it's not sticking. You may find yourself finding another way to speak to the issue. You might not say it in the same way. You might present it in a different way, okay? Um, also looking at, uh, you know, getting into new forms of communication. So like, say if you're like, this is a good one for like the elderly folks. You might see a lot of old people like, I want a social media page <laughs> around this month, okay? Um, which seems very retrograde, very breaker retrograde it is. Um, so just new ways to communicate and having new conversations conversations with new people and one of the things about this is because the energy here is a lot it, it has a lot to do with communications the things that come up in conversation are going to be important so pay attention to the things that you're talking about especially if you end up talking to somebody like I said you don't normally talk to and you end up having a conversation with them there's probably little tidbits of knowledge and gems that you need to pick up from there that you could apply to your life that will do you some good and the next point that I have is a uh, community so Gemini is a fun sign. Gemini likes to party. Gemini is social. So with that being said, there is this energy of community coming about for this new lunar cycle, for this new moon in Gemini. And remember that we're having a solar eclipse. And so whatever starts to transpire around this time, it is initiating what's going to be playing out over the course of the next six months. So with this community aspect, this community energy coming in, Com new friend groups, meeting new people, uh, new love interests, um, kind of detaching yourself. Remember, Gemini also carries the energy of detachment, detaching yourself from the things that you're so comfortable to, that you're so used to. So I wouldn't be surprised if a lot, a lot of you, I um, mean, this is funny, especially amongst uh, women, um, you might meet somebody that you end up feeling like is a whole new best friend. And you might have friends that are like, oh my gosh, who is, what's going on? Like, you're our friends. We're jelly. But meeting new friends meeting new people having conversations coming into a new community so a lot of you as well especially because of all of the retrograde energies that we're dealing with and i do have a playlist up on those retrogrades each retrograde carries a different energy and will affect us in a different way so if you want more on what i what i just said there go on and watch that playlist i do have it linked down in the description box but because we are dealing with so much retrograde energy and there's a lot of there's this notion coming from quite a bit of these retrogrades uh, to get back into the things that we love or get into the things that we enjoy or that we really like doing. So you may find yourself coming into new community spaces, new artistic spaces, new places where people who are like-minded welcome you with open arms and give you the energies and give you the things and the resources that you have been looking for that you may not have necessarily been getting from where you were at. Remember, eclipse, solar eclipse, this is change. You're coming into a new. So, with that being said, when you come into new spaces and you come into new energies, I think it's important for you guys to remember that it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to leave everything behind, but you may have to leave some things behind. And more often than not, the things that we need to detach from, cut our cords from, or leave behind are things that we're very comfortable with or comfortable in or have very heavy cords of attachment or very strong emotional investments in. Anything that you were being pulled to kind of stray away from and go discover and do something else now during this next month, give it a go. I I can almost guarantee you that it's going to be beneficial to you, okay? And y'all know the old saying, if some leaves and it comes back to you, it was meant to be or whatever. It, it, that's not exact. Don't quote me because that's not how it goes. But that's the gist of it. So if you have to detach from something or you have to walk away from something and we're coming off of the... Uh, lunar eclipse which is change and transformation what's phasing out and remember we're dealing with that over the course of the next six months as well so we're still even though we're in this new moon and this solar eclipse energy we're still dealing with the energy of release as well because this is major change major transformation so when these things come in and these things come up let it go move on move away take the chance if it is supposed to be prominent in your life you will find your way back to it or it will find a way to incorporate itself into what you've got going on in a way that is beneficial and conducive to what you have going on okay a little pieces of knowledge a little slight tangent it was still related um, it was still relative though um the last note that i have for this uh new moon and solar eclipse is a uh, new projects 
I spoke about Gemini being uh, curious and Gemini like liking to try new things and Gemini being an intellectual energy. So again, going back into what I was saying about the retrograde energy of, you know, getting back into our passion projects during this month, you are more than likely going to find yourself interested in doing some new stuff, some things that you have never tried before, whether it is a completely new area, completely new hobby, new task, or it's something different about something that you've been working on, you're going to be coming into that space and coming into that energy. Um, because we are dealing with this intellectual Gemini, this intellectual air energy, what makes this better uh, are us coming into these things these new projects these new hobbies these new tasks is that we are actually going to be giving the energy to doing our research to really learning and cultivating a skill or, or coming into a new skill so picking up a lot of knowledge during this month as well you might find yourself feeling very inquisitive wanting to read more wanting to you know get on google and look things up and figure out how things work figure out how things uh trans how they go down um but uh, it, it's a positive energy. We're still in a pandemic, um, even though the world thinks we're not. We're still in a pandemic, and the energy is still kind of crazy. Uh, a lot of us are still carrying residual energies from last year, which are pretty dense and pretty heavy and pretty stagnant. But Gemini is a lighter energy. So as we come into the summer season, we're coming into a more positive feeling as well. You'll feel a lot lighter during this uh, lunar cycle, okay? And I want to speak to the aspects that we'll be seeing with this uh, lunation very quickly. Uh, the most, the major aspect that we have here is that the new moon and the solar eclipse will be conjunct the Mercury retrograde. So off bat, miscommunication, confusion, chaos, all the things, all the Mercury retrograde things. Watch the video. Um, and there's also an aspect to this moon. It will be squared to Neptune. Um, this is not a very strong aspect, but because we have the moon conjunct Mercury, but Mercury is in retrograde, it does heighten the negative aspects of this energy a little bit. Um, it, because the square is a negative, uh, it is a negative aspect. Um, pa pause there. It is a negative aspect, but squares can be used for positive progression. There we go. Um, so with this Neptune aspect, uh, there is this energy of lies and secrets and harsh, harsh truths coming out. So over the course of the next month, you might learn some things that you didn't want to know. You might figure some things out that really put you in a place to be like, damn, I really thought that this was not like this, but I guess it is. Understand that everything that you learn or whatever comes to light, or even if you're holding certain things back and they need to come out whatever transpires it happens for a reason although it may seem negative it may seem chaotic i don't know why i can't talk right now chaotic in in the moment it happens because it needs to remember i, I was talking about moving away from certain spaces so you might learn some things that cause you to actually cut your cords of attachment over the next month so that you can really harness and use this solar eclipse energy for what it's made for okay um speaking to the numerology this moon is happening on a three day so three I, I like this because even though gemini is the sign of the twins i i personally and i don't know why it's i've just kind of always naturally been like this i associate gemini energy with the en energy of the number three um as well as mercury <laughs> so i don't know um but so it's happening on a three day which is the number of communication creativity collaboration um and it's also a number of positive manifestation. So we'll be really in a space to where we're putting out positive intentions that are really going to help us change and progress on this journey of change being bought in by the solar eclipse. This moon is happening in 19 degrees. So you've got the energies of the number one, which is all about manifestation, new chapters, new beginnings and independence and the energy of the number nine, which is the opposite of one, which is all about closing chapters. Um, you know um ascending into new spaces and new energies okay um that breaks down into 10 which is one amplified by zero so it's kind of like we're dipping a little back into the sagittarius full moon eclipse and we're really like doubling back to say okay do we really wrap everything up okay make sure that this is taken care of so that you can really move forward and give your energy to what it's needed for it doesn't make sense to keep your energy lingering where it was when you're not even working on that anymore so the numerical energy with this moon puts us in a space to really wrap shit up to where we can get shit popping simply put 
I don't do big, big, big rituals for like new moons. So this ritual is uh, for, for this ritual, I will be doing literally just my new moon intentions. I'll do a new moon reading for myself and I will put my stones and this is the only difference really. I'll put my stones in the window to charge by way of the moon and to also charge by way of the sun because it is a solar eclipse. So my stones will be in the window for a period of 24 hours with the intention of charging. Um, Keep in mind that certain stones don't do well in the sun, so make sure that you don't leave them out there too long, especially if you get really good sunlight wherever it is that you live. Um, but if you're only leaving them out there for a day, you should be okay. Um, and that's really it. I'll be, I said I'll be charging my stones, blah, 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 working with Gemini colors. So like I'll probably have like a yellow highlighter. I'll burn like a yellow candle or something. I'll probably wear yellow, <laughs> you know, um, as, as wild as that sounds. Colors and the energy of colors I like to incorporate into my rituals as well. And I think that's all I got for you guys. Is, uh, this new moon is a time to dive into our new discoveries, okay? And learn all that we can, form new connections, meet new people, come into new spaces, uh, come into new communities, um, get some new knowledge and start some new projects. Okay, the people that are going to be the most affected by this lunation are, of course, people with hella Gemini placements, especially in their big three, Sun, Moon, and Rising, um, especially Gemini moons. Uh, people with hella 19 degree placements in their chart, uh, people with a lot of mutable energy in their charts, and also because we're in eclipse season and we're on an eclipse axis and we're having an eclipse, the opposite sign placement. So if you have a lot of Sagittarian energy in your chart, you can expect to be affected by this quite a bit as well. Another note I wanted to point out is um, wherever you have 19 degrees placed in your chart, this eclipse is going to be hitting it. So if you're within the orb of 19 degrees, uh, most astrologers will tell you that's within like six or seven degrees. I like to speak more to like three or four degrees, but it's six or seven is, is, is standard. But the closer you are to the degree, the more effective and the more intense the energy is. So if you've got placements in your chart that are very close to 19 degrees look at where that planet look at what planet that is look at what i'm sorry look at what planets are placed in that <laughs> let's try this again look at what house that planet is placed in the energies of the planet and the energies of the house and you can expect to see some new shifts coming in for you because we're talking about solar eclipse here coming in for you by way of this energy um, for example this moon is happening in 19 degrees i have Uranus no yeah Uranus and Neptune and Saturn within the orb of 19 degrees they're all like 17 or 16 one is I think one is 16 I have two 17s so Saturn is in my first house Neptune and Uranus are both in my 12th house so Saturn is is all about you know karma Saturn is all about you know my foundations my finances my foundational relationships I say karma um, I've got Neptune, which is all about my spirituality and all about my dreams and my aspirations and my goals. And you've got Uranus, which is all about change and, and new things and new avenues. And so this solar eclipse is going to be bringing in some new energy for me in those areas. So I can expect to see some changes in regards to, you know, my self perception, my self progression and the ways that I'm approaching and achieving my goals and dreams. Okay just to give you guys a little insight and not, well not insight that's some insight into me but to give you guys a little example so you can look at your chart and see where you have 19 degrees placed in your chart or, or within the orb of 19 and then look at those things and then you can get an idea of what kind of changes are coming in for you energetically speaking okay and that's all i got for you guys shameless plug at the end like always check out the june pick a car tarot forecast of my job takes so much of my time and so much of my life. I did not put up monthlies for the month of June for all of the signs, um, but I will be putting up a mid-month uh, monthlies, uh, the short versions for everybody within the next like week or so. So check those out. Do me a favor, y'all. Support a black owned business, buy black, support a black woman owned business and book a reading. I purchased some stuff from my Etsy shop and helped me quit my job. Um, what else do I want you guys to watch? I mentioned the retrograde a lot in this video. Check out the retrograde series. That playlist is linked down below. I also have the clip series playlist linked down below. I am running a sale on both retrograde readings and eclipse readings. Um, retrograde readings are $22 right now and eclipse readings are $25 right now. They're normally, I think, like $45 and $35. Um, they will be going back to regular price at the beginning of July. So if you want to grab one for the 
sale price while we're in all of these energies go on and do that you can book again through my etsy shop which will be linked down below and probably somewhere in the video wherever i decide to put it it's probably gonna be at the bottom probably in the lower third for the most part it's usually where i put my stuff um okay you guys i think that's all i got for you i feel like i'm rambling at this point because we are now into the wee hours of the night so sending you guys all the good vibes for this eclipse sending you all positive change and transformation energy coming in for you and thank you guys for watching i will catch you all next time peace